everybody. Welcome to Thought Saga. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett Weebly Breeder Hanrahan. Ew. Oh, I don't like that. I take, you need to start I over. I take the Weebly websites and I, I they combine and make, I make That's... some hybrid Weeblies. I've had some really good Weebly <sighs> websites in my day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've had a few. That's the worst, Brett. It's it's a fine living. It's a fine occupation. Yeah, Sam. dude, don't make fun of his job. Oh. That's my life, dude. It's my livelihood. Well, what do you do, Sam? Who are you and what is your title? I'm Samuel Warm Boy Risley. Oh. Okay. What? Yeah, a lot. Are you just. Is it just like a toasty day in Denton? Yeah. It's a toasty day, but also just like. The way the apartments are, my apartment complex is facing, the sun shines into my window all day long. Oh, I know that feel. And it's really warm. So you've become and warm boy. The superhero. I've, I've become warm boy. <laughs> and also it doesn't help that like randomly throughout the day, my roommate will turn off the AC and I won't notice. Hmm. But well, when you when you start transforming into warm boy, like your long, legs and arms start getting longer, and you can radiate a mild but still comfortable heat from your palms. That's when you know he's probably turned off the a mild but quite uncomfortable heat. Uh, I would say so. It's like right over the line of like yeah yeah. It's right over the line of comfort. Okay, all right. If it, if it was if it was comfort, I'd be toasty boy. Toasty ah, boy. you know what? That's absolutely correct. It does You're seem right. much more comfortable. Yeah. Well, who are you? Who are you to? Who are you to go against Warm Boy? I have not gone against Warm Boy. It is I, Cyan Haskins, creator of the internet. Wow. And I'm here to endorse Warm Boy. I think Warm Boy is correct. We have to bring supers back. We have to bring... <laughs> I think Worm Boy should be back in action. I don't think he should be illegal anymore. And I think that uh, you should all suck my dick. Uh, the entire law enforcement. Fuck you. Make Worm Boy legal again. Listen, Worm Boy... I appreciate that. It is... I appreciate guys, that. Guys, we get it. Worm Boy did cause the death of... Uh, hundreds of people warm, in the incident of 2007 warm boy did accidentally start global warming and we've been dealing with that for many 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 yeah. years now but he's gotten better about it he, he said he's sorry and he hasn't <laughs> he hasn't harassed a woman in like three months so he, like he posted a twitter <laughs> apology so everybody should it, like he did it okay he's he's forgiven he did he made the Twitter apology. Two YouTube videos <laughs> and two. he cried in one of them. He deleted the first one yeah. <laughs> because it wasn't received well, and then he made a second one. And he cried in it, and everyone and everyone was like, Aw, yeah. he is sorry. He is a warm boy. He is a warm that, boy. I don't appreciate the parallels you're making here. <laughs> no, we really did make Warm Boy our character now, huh? He's no longer you. He's now this warped. Character. Well, that's all superhero is, right? It's all about perspective. Oh, you know what? You know what? You're so right. We yeah. just wrote... We, we're we the problem. <laughs> we're the problem. We're the baddies in Incredibles 2. <laughs> it's us. And, well, as the baddies, let's just hop on to the first segment. <laughs> cool. All right. Who wants to go Who's first? going first? Um, let's rock, paper, scissors for it. Yeah, no, that I sounds am good. Not currently there. That's fine. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so what'd you do, Sam? I did. I don't trust you guys. No, we have like code, dude. We're like watching each other. Yeah. I did scissors. Whoa. We all did the. We all did a different. Sign thing. did rock. I did paper, and Sam did scissors. Tag yourself. Who Whoa. are you? Thought sauna kin types with <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. No, that's enough of that. All right, I guess I'll go first. What did I have? Law? I don't know, man. Cool. You're the one who gave us the list, <laughs> yeah, today. You're the one who, like, controls that. You're the producer. <laughs> I I forget sometimes. You, you, you had thought. I did have thought. Sam has dream. Yeah. So, okay, I have So, law. therefore, you must have law. <laughs> If logic 
if I've if I've seen a thoughts on it episode, I know what the third one is. <laughs> Only true fans can know. God dang it, we Process went to five of minutes. Elimination. Ah oh, shit. Alright, we gotta go. I thought we were gonna do real good on this one. Okay. This is a law from Ohio. Dumblaws.com. Oh. Sign, I think you're gonna like this. My one. heart is in Ohio. Yeah. So cut my wrists and black my eyes. Panic at the Disco is my favorite band. <laughs> so in <laughs> in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> a little panic at the disco. Wait, humor. before before can can we like read my tweet from earlier today? Oh no, what did you say? I just said you ever get so high that you willingly make the decision to listen to the ballad of Mona Lisa. I did see that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not understand. Nah, you have only to be... true panic fans will understand. Only yeah, because everyone's like, I love Mona Lisa, and I'm like, mm. anyway, what is your anyway? Law? This is from Ohio. I think you'll like it because it is like one of those like somebody one person did this yeah in ohio if you ignore an orator on decoration day or memorial day yeah for us ignorant fools to such an extent as to publicly play croquet or pitch horseshoes within one mile of the speaker's sand you can be fined 25 dollars oh <laughs> what so what just like a what a <laughs> useless law <laughs> yeah it's, 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 hey, hey, you were what playing croquet while this, yeah, hey, you were playing croquet while this dude was giving a speech, you owe him $25. Within Venmo one mile, <laughs> one mile, y'all, who had the eagle eyes to see this dude playing croquet from a mile away. Also, God forbid that he's playing croquet. Yeah, like, while, near while some speaker. Memorial Day action is happening. What, do you, like what? What does that mean? <laughs> he was just he he just didn't respect the decorations. What do you think they got to twenty five, or do you think they, it started with the death sentence, and then they had to like talk him down? I think it started with like <laughs> forty years in Alcatraz, <laughs> getting waterboarded, <laughs> and then the death sentence. And they were like, they wait, this is a little inhumane. Say, hum, inhumane. Let's just kill them. And they're like, no, no, no. I'll just find them like $40,000. No, no. They sent them to Guantanamo first. Mm. So, so wait, they, so this guy did go through this. Yeah, no, no. Like, yeah. This law like was put in like place like 400 years ago. And it's just been like a very right. long journey to get it down to $25. Like people make posts online. And they're like, only 60 years ago, people were still dying from playing croquet on Memorial Day near speakers. Yeah. Just put that in perspective. Only 60 years ago was that the law. Like, it's crazy. It's, we were so ignorant, you know? We, we knew so little. Like, mm. that's in the modern section, modern day section of, like, your U.S. history textbook is, it, like, one of the modern day chapters still involves, like, oh, yeah, this guy died because he, like, this famous dude died because he played croquet by a Memorial Day speaker. Isn't, isn't that what they got Nelson Mandela for? <laughs> Yeah, cause yeah, cause he died, because he played croquet too close to a more yeah, speaker. Yeah, and that's what the Mandela effect yep, is. A famous South <laughs> African. <laughs> <laughs> the Mandela effect is playing croquet, like getting caught, getting caught playing croquet. Yeah, and <laughs> like that's the police code. It's like we got a, we, <laughs> we got, got a Mandela. A, we got a Mandela over. effect over here. <laughs> Cyan, you say you say that's in new, like modern day school books, but let's be honest. With the way the government covers stuff up in our history textbooks, that wouldn't be in there. Ooh, um, 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 uh, Sam's, it's conspiracy time. We, boy, they removed the word slaves from history textbooks. Ugh. Like, they're like involuntary servants, and it's like, no, that was slavery. You don't think they would do the servants. same thing for like when they fucking like killed a man for playing croquet? Well, it's it's in punishment for Memorial Day. So, yes, I believe they would put it in there. Like, how dare you get in the way of this, our patriot holiday, by playing some gypsy European football or whatever croquet is. Brett, I don't think you understand what croquet is at all. No, I think he knows exactly what croquet is, Isn't actually. It, it's the one with the <laughs> flamingos. Did you... Brett, I need you to read... Re English football. <laughs> it is the one with the flamingos. Okay, cool. 
in, in that Alice in Wonderland movie. I just like that that's your association with it. Like, oh yeah, Croquet, the Flamingo game. We will play The Flamingo game croquet. from Alice in Wonderland. I mean, you are not wrong, Brett. <laughs> well, I don't know. However, when you said... When you said English football, I think you're referring to rugby, and I don't know if that originated in England. I was referring to Americans only know three sports, and soccer, we don't know soccer. I guess we're fine with golf. That's still a little far from the mark, I think. I also still really don't know how to play croquet unless it's with flamingos. I don't know how we play it these days. I have no clue how to play croquet, and I'm like... 80% 80% sure the Scottish invented golf. Croquet is really fun. You played it. Have you I played it? I played croquet like numerous times, yeah. Where? Uh, in Joe's backyard. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you were going to say some foreign land, some fantasy world. No, fucking Joe got a croquet set for his birthday one year when he was like eight. Wow. And he was like, hey, come play cro- croquet and we we played croquet a few times <laughs> i just looked it up rugby actually was created in england so i'm sorry english i i uh that's my bad sam will be po- uh hosting a forum later to apologize for that sam will be a hosting forum. a twitch stream <laughs> <laughs> i mean the apology. english of- <laughs> sam will be twitch streaming dark souls <laughs> while he make, makes to his apologize. <laughs> <a> formal apology <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, I am going to apologize, but first I need to talk about my giveaway. (laughs) (sighs) I think. I do, too, sometimes. (laughs) It's crazy, isn't it? It's wild how, how you can just do that. Could you imagine just, like, playing croquet in your backyard and then just a dude... In like a military suit, bust through your fence. And it's like your house is uh, seven. I have no fucking clue how to spay. It. Oh wait, no point seven miles from yeah. a speaker. Yeah. Then they kill you. And then they kill you, and then they fine you twenty five dollars, which is inconvenient. But you know they still killed you. What was that, Sam? I couldn't figure out how to spell croquet. Croquet. Yeah. It's it's Croquet Croquet is also from England. Which makes sense. It's such a Well it makes sense. England is my city after all. Oh is it? Yeah. Really? So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> England is my city. England is my city. <laughs> England is my city. <laughs> England is my like... city? Not clickbait. Sometimes it's hard for me to realize that England invented things on their own every so often instead of just, like, building off the, like, stuff of others. Sometimes it's weird to think that England is just actually my city. It's crazy that you own it. It's my city. It's my city. It's mine. (laughs) And it's my city. It's... Sam, do you want to go next or last? I can go next because I don't think I have a real ringer for an end. All right. Okay. And he left. <laughs> no, no, I'm pulling it back up. I'm pulling so, it back up. So, goodbye. <laughs> Went to do the laundry. Here's the dream. Here's the dream. And I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and kind of get myself into uh, the mental state that this person seems to be go- uh, trying to convey in this post. Okay, right. really get yourself in character. Uh, it was submitted to a Tumblr blog called One Time I Dreamt by Emperor King Jess. All right. And the dream goes, Santa Claus is 80 feet tall and he keeps chasing me. <laughs> He'll rip the roofs off buildings I try to hide in. He's always close. And that's the end of the dream. Oh, God. No, that's just like a, that's just paranoia. <laughs> that's just this dude, like, that's just his life, I think. I think, that didn't sound like a dream. That just sound like this guy needs to get these thoughts out because he's having them a lot. This is, this is the most common thing that people with paranoia worry about is Santa Claus is ripping 80 their... 80 feet tall Santa Claus yeah. is always being behind you. He doesn't even, do, does he even give out 80 foot presents? Oh, you know what? Well, for, well does he give out like six foot tall presents, <laughs> Brett? Yes. 
Also, wait, how tall canon is Santa Claus? Because I always imagine that he's just, like, kind of tall. I imagine he's, like, 6'5". I'm going to do some research on that. Let's keep talking, but, like, I'm, I'm going to do... I'm doing that right now. I'm going to do the T. He's 6'5 and, like, 600 pounds. Well, no, I don't think that's the case. Well... Santa Claus. How can you possibly say that? <laughs> Santa Claus height. <laughs> he eats everybody's Santa, cookies. Santa Claus is about five feet seven inches. Yeah, I just read from that. who? What source are y'all citing? And he's two hundred and sixty pounds before cookies. <laughs> <laughs> it says in parentheses right. before cookies. What is he post cookies? Uh, you let's tell see. Me. Five things you never knew about Santa Claus. Well, okay, sign me up. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an article I want to read. Yeah, dream dreamer. We're gonna we're gonna take your dream. We're gonna do all the research. We're th- very thorough with how we analyze our dreams here at Thought Sauna. I found Santa's phone number. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Why don't? What is it, Sam? Nine five one two six two three zero oh, six two. Is this like that thing where like? When, like, the iPod Touch first came out and everyone was, like, looking at the app store and they were like, ooh, if we get this app that calls Santa Claus. Sam, that's a California number. No, it's it's an actual address, and I just looked up the 951 area code. Yeah. The 951 area code is for fucking California. Yeah, dude. He just... That's where he spends his summers. Uh, This... I get... Y'all, this fucking website... Has a list of information about Santa's sleigh. Down to the mm. designer and builder, probable first flight, its length, width, and height, weight at takeoff, passenger weight at takeoff, weight of gifts at takeoff, weight at landing, passenger weight at landing, propulsion, armament, fuel, emissions, climbing speed, and max speed. Uh, That's on like the five things you don't know about Santa Claus list. Courtesy of the NORAD Santa Tracker. What is the, the Santa wait, Tracker? Wait, what? Who are these people who are like? Wait, ha, did you not know about the Santa Tracker? No. no. He's in California, yeah, dude. dude. Why would we need to track him? <laughs> no, the tracker is like every Christmas Eve, you like go on the like NORAD Santa Tracker and you watch Santa fly around the world, so that way they, they and they get like confirmed sightings and shit. What? Yeah. Y'all, you can see him. He's 80 feet tall. I don't think we... Like, he's not Santa hard to spot. Santa is canonically 5 foot 7. Yeah, that's a head but when he enters, When he enters... No, when he enters his Bonkai for naughty children... Oh, I right. see. Okay. okay. He, he becomes 80 feet tall. Wait, we already said that Santa Claus is the Hokage. He also that was has our a first bonkai. episode. He also has a yeah, Bonkai. He's a, <laughs> we we discussed this. Right. A- Santa Claus is the most powerful anime protagonist. Yeah, Santa Claus is just like my anime OC. He he can have powers from yeah. all the animes that I like to watch. Yeah. And he just used he just used like a shape shifting jutsu and he just became eighty foot and he's terrorizing this one naughty no, that child. Is his bond he has a bonkai. That is his he bonkai. has a zonpak toe because he's a soul reaper. The bonkai doesn't the make him eighty feet tall though. Yes it does. No it doesn't. Yes it a bonkai can do anything, Brett. Everyone's Bonkai is different and unique. Why couldn't it be a ninjutsu? Yeah. It could be if you wanted it to, but we already said it was well, going to be a Bonkai. that's what I was Bonkai. saying. Why are you like, We've no, already... your, your fun idea is wrong. No, you're stupid. Because now he gets to be Naruto and Bleach. And He's not just everything. Naruto. You're limiting him. You're limiting his potential, Henny. Well, then, no, look. Like, fine, like... He goes to this person, he rips off the dupe, and he's like, Gomu, Gomu, Naruake! And then he stretches his arm, and I guess yeah, destroys he's this girl. person. That's one piece. I, no, fine. Like, he could be an American animation power. Kappa too. Mikey. <laughs> Kappa Mikey? <laughs> <laughs> he's just, sometimes I he looks like he's terribly forgot animated. forgot about that. <laughs> Can we watch Kappa Mikey later? Yes, dude. Absolutely. Oh, thank God. Kappa Mikey's the most, like, here's my, like, oh, man. how to draw anime I just OC. Like, I just, like, looked up Kappa Mikey... And, oh, the styles are so clashing. Oh, dude, it is something else. No, that's the point of the show. Yeah, they were trying to clash, like, anime, uh, Japanese like, animation and American animation Yeah, because, like, Mikey is, like, this American boy who, like, goes to Japan to be in this, like, show or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he flew over to Japan, and everyone in Japan looks like anime, but he looks like American cartoons. Yeah. I feel like that's, a like, supposed to be, like, a race allegory. 
I don't think it was supposed to be. I think they were like, it would be fun if we put these styles together comedically. Yeah. I don't think Cap and Mikey was like a social My... <laughs> social TV show. <laughs> I don't think they were My making commentary. Mi- My thing is that Cap and Mikey looks like a fucking like Whataburger fucking oh, no, yeah. kids toy. He looks like a Whataburger version of Fry from Futurama, for sure. Yeah. Like that's just what he's doing. And that's fine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, where did his Whataburger and Matt Scott's go? Where'd those guys go? Damn. Let's look it up. What a boy and like what a yeah. what a man or whatever. What a girl. The, the squad. The water squad. If you're somehow listening from out of Texas. Uh, there are water burgers outside of Texas. It's what a it's what a guy. Oh, yeah. oh my oh. god, what a guy looks exactly like the style. Oh. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The, oh no. The people who made Whataburger oh, no. dabbled in animation. Oh my god, there's a Whataburger fan art subreddit. Subreddit? Uh, oh. Whoa. I was thinking like a DeviantArt club or something. But DeviantArt like subreddit. club at most. Yeah. Not like a subreddit. I didn't think there was a community. No, there's a whole Whataburger subreddit. How many uh, subscribers does it have? A Whataburger subreddit. All the kids who like drive trucks and have camo cups <laughs> are, are the people on the Whataburger subreddit. <laughs> John Fanner, <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Do you think those kids who, like, eat at Whataburger all the time, like, know? Do you think they know the Whataburger history and culture, or do you think they're just appropriating Whataburger? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I think it's You go ask that. any of those high schoolers, hey, do you know who Waterboy is? And they're like, who? Waterboy? You mean Waterburger? You mean Shark Boy? Yeah, and Lava Girl. And then you're like, yes, that's exactly what I meant. And they're like, oh, cool. And then we shake hands, and it's like, yeah. Cool. I'm pretty sure what a boy is a thing. No, I'm no, sure yeah, what a boy <laughs> is a thing. Because he had a little. Well, there's what a guy. Yeah, there's what a guy. And I don't and like him. He had a couple sidekicks. First, it was what a boy, and then they had what a girl. And I don't know if he had a, like a romantic interest ever, but I don't know. Well, they have like a green space alien who I think is the romantic interest. Oh, I'd never. I've never seen the mascot. Oh, I don't like seeing him guy. like in the real world. Oh. I hate when like I have to see him like put into our universe, like our reality. Like it's one thing when he's a drawing or is in like a cartoon world, but like that's too much. Oh man, get that away from me. The Whata Pals. They were called the Whataburger Burger Whata Pals. Yeah, dude. It looks like they got some graphic novels, baby. They got some comics. Some manga. Some manga. Some manga. Uh... Hayao Miyazaki made the Whata Pals. <laughs> <laughs> Studio Ghibli was invented to animate the Whata Pals. They were founded in order to make. Yeah. They got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> they got distracted. Ugh. Do you think there's, like, some really specific collectors out there who would just, like, bust a nut over a complete collection of all the Wada Pals toys? Oh, dude, for sure. You kidding me? I'd be all up in that, in that, in that, in that. <sighs> what a fucking, like, trip that would be to meet someone, like, where that was their obsession. <laughs> like, Whataburger's not even that good, guys. First oh. off, that's true. <laughs> But second Whataburger's off, fine. Whataburger's fine. It's not that great. But like Brett's audio just yeah. No, there's for no us. reason. There's no reason. What? <laughs> Brett's mic just like glitched for us. It glitched. It's fine. I it's think. fine. But it was just like really scary. Yeah. Because we were like, oh no. No, <laughs> no but seriously, Whataburger is not that great. Like it's. I like it. It's not that great. It's better than In and Out. Sure. It, yeah. But that's and not McDonald's. a hard bar to set either. Well, yeah, but McDonald's is also like 50 cents for seven burgers. Like, you can't fucking compare yeah. the two. Like, oh yeah, every would, restaurant is better than McDonald's. I'm not even going to lie. I would rather go to Sonic than Whataburger. I'd honestly rather go to McDonald's than Whataburger. Really? Yeah, I don't fucking like Whataburger. Man. My mom bought 100 Whataburgers for a party and nobody came to it. And with that, let's move on to the next segment. (laughs) Okay, cool. Your mom did what? No, with that, we're moving on to the next segment. Maybe I'll tell that story some other day. I have a thought. All right. I've been thinking. All right. Uh, No, I'm not going to give this guy credit. I don't like his name. 
Oh, oh, okay. You could just decide to do that, huh? Yeah, this is from Shower Thoughts on Reddit. Okay. And it says, gas stations are basically restaurants for cars. <laughs> that was literally in cars. That was in the movie. Like, congrats. You had an unoriginal thought. <laughs> Well, great. All right. Uh, check back <laughs> in the next episode of the podcast. Thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> like all right. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just... All right. Uh, bye. <laughs> like, they literally called it Flo's Drive-In in the fucking Cars movie. Cool. Because they loved Progressive, Sam. They loved Flo from Progressive. Well, I, it didn't have anything to do with anything. I else. thought maybe this would lead to some funny conversation but now i no we just... don't we don't do that on this podcast no, now now i'm just gonna see you have feel dumb discussions. for picking it out yeah yeah <laughs> you're not dumb for picking it out this guy's dumb for thinking it pixar already did that all right well we don't look we could talk about other car things like where do you think cars go to have like sex no i'm not I'm talking sorry. about do you that. think no. there are car Oh man, I Brett, to I didn't show. We're gonna talk about the five Brett, things we didn't know about Santa Claus now. <laughs> Brett, I did. Yes, Sam. Brett and Cyan, I didn't show you guys this when you came up to Denton, but I really should have. We were there for like it's right a year. By, Why didn't you show us it? <laughs> because it like I only just popped into my mind, but like right by my house is an auto shop that specializes in tires. And on it, they have, a, like, on the front of it, they have, like, one of those, like, glass paint murals. You know how they, like, do, like, the chalk paints on glass? Yeah. And the mural is of, like, a car with a face, and it straight up looks like some kind of knockoff car's cartoon. That's what I like to see. And I can't remember who said it in my truck when we drove past it one time, and but we were driving past it, and someone in my truck went... Man, why does that tire shop have, like, a fucking Cars hentai mural? <sighs> Sorry, that and was my soul. It's not in me anymore. <laughs> that was probably the worst realization I've ever had. Is that they probably were right. Realization? Drawn... Like, as if that was their intent, Sam? As if that was their intent to make me realize that someone has probably drawn porn of cars. Well, yeah. I mean, we live in this world. Yeah, Sam, you haven't seen porn of cars yet? There's porn for cars. There's porn for ketchup bottles. Like we There's ever, porn, like, porn for cigarettes, for, like, jet planes. I like to believe in the good of mankind. So, excuse me if I block out those Sam, things. Sam, we were talking about Vor, like, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, and I forgot about that until you mentioned it again. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Sam, do you remember Vor? Yeah. <sighs> can we get back to why Cars you, porn? Like, what kind of porn they watch? Yeah, no, can we talk more about <laughs> what, what kind of porn they watch? Yeah. <laughs> like, in the, like, universe of Cars? <laughs> yeah, like, what positions do... Like, they can't, like, do flip they, over no, each Do other. they watch assembly lines? Like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. No, wait, that's how babies are made. Do you think that, like, some people, some of the cars are like, oh, yeah, crash me, uh, crash me into oh, a tree. Oh, God, like they blindside each Aww. other or something? Yeah, they're like, I'm into car BDSM. <laughs> crash into me, T-bone me, come on, T-bone me. <laughs> oh, my God, my transition uh, mission is so off right now. I'm yeah, going to knock like, your tire out, me. you bad boy. <laughs> yeah, door ding me, door ding me. <laughs> door, key, key me, me. <laughs> key me! <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. This might easily break my windshield. Be the worst. Oh, break my windshield! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, oh bust God. the headlight! Bust the headlight! Bust the headlight! And then they like go home to their parents' house, right? Because they're still living with their parents, and they're like trying to look for hickeys on their. I don't like this. Neck. Yeah, they like they really go home like and, and they're like, um, is your headlight busted? No. No, don't. No, I'm not. Shut up. Is your. Your driver's side mirror has a crack on it. Where did that come from? I, it was nothing. I went out with the boys and we played some basketball. And we oh, just yeah, and you got a crack on your... Yeah, okay. <laughs> did the basketball bite your neck? <laughs> the, what's the neck for the car? Ew. Um, I mean, it really is just a head <laughs> that moves. <laughs> no, wait, their arms are like the tires. In, in the Cars movie, they like... Yeah, like the, their them. arms and legs are the tires, I think. 
So it's like a head with arms and legs attached. So to does it. that mean like their axles are their like? I don't think they have necks. I think they just have like a head, a body, and legs. They don't got a bot. I'm the drive shaft. The drive shaft is the neck. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Why not? What is the exhaust pipe? Well, we know what the exhaust pipe is. I didn't need to say that question. The butthole. Yeah. 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 Cool. We know. We know everything we need to know about cars. I feel ready to. Uh, go and start my job as a repair technician. Now they know the ins and outs of a car. Yep. Wow, you know. Uh, yeah. What's your qualifications? I, uh, well, that right there is the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that. You're the, hired, <laughs> sir. I know it's the butthole. I know that the windshield of the eyes. I know that that right there is the mouth. I know that the tires are arms. And they're like, all right, yep. yeah, you, you got the job. There's. There's yeah. actually a little box on any on any car repair form that says. Are you sexually attracted to cars? And you have to click yes or they won't hire you. Well, depending on the place. Oh, okay. You know, because, like, some traditional places are like, well, don't do that. But, like, some modern, like, new car repair places are like, yeah, we're into that. Like, yeah, we're going to fuck your car so good that yeah. it's going to be so repaired. Mm-hmm. You have no clue, mm -hmm. little bitch. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Thought Sauna. <laughs> we're actually going to We're actually gonna have it be 30 minutes this time. Look at that. Whoa, we did it. Amazing. I didn't think this episode would turn Purely into Purely because Sam wants to stop talking about this subject. Well, no, we're going to end the episode and then can have a separate four hour long discussion that we will record and uh, live stream on, on Twitch. It, well, it's for premium members only. Yeah, you have to. That's not going to happen. You have to pay 50 bucks a That's month. That's not going to happen. No, it is going to happen and it's yeah. going to happen right it's now. It's not going to happen. Be sure to bring a towel next time mm -hmm. you come in or you're going to get real sweaty and you're not going to have anything to get rid of it. Brett, advertise for us. Oh, we have a Gmail, we have a Twitter, we have a Facebook, a YouTube, and a Discord. We got a lot of crap. Yeah, we sure. Why do we have? Jesus. We have so much stuff. We're hey, we're we're on Spotify now, actually. What the boy? Are what? we on what Spotify? Yeah, Libsyn finally got their I'm mess together. I'm opening Spotify right now. Wait, I didn't know we were on Spotify. Straight up, Libsyn finally got their mess together. They're like, for like two months, they were like, oh no. And then they <laughs> Are we on Spotify, boys? We're on Spotify, boys. It is a brand new age for us. We are we are the adventurers, the pioneers, the young. It's not loading. We're on Thoughts. Yeah, no, oh, there it is. I see it. Wow, that's us. That's our show. Look at that, dude. Is it all the episodes? Yeah. <gasps> well, it's all the ones we've uploaded to Libsyn. So 14 cool. through Oh, 20. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's right, baby. Check us out on all places podcasts are found. iTunes as well. Yeah. Hell and please yeah. send us dreams, thoughts, and laws if you could. We also have a YouTube channel. Where yes, you I did say that. Where you can hear yes, the we, OG we, episodes, season one of Thought Sauna. You don't? Yeah, season you one. You shouldn't, though. Season. Let's call it that season zero. Season zero? Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. Sweaty boys, end recording. Sweaty boys. Sweat. <laughs>